It is our pleasure to have Tim Mosley here talking about his mom because Alice was quite a painter and uh, unfortunately she's no longer with us but she has left a lot of stuff. Uh, Tim, tell us first of all, and you're her son, tell us about Alice. Tell us about mom. Well, uh, my mom was a very creative person and she always said that her felt like her real calling was her career as a teacher. And in one of her paintings, she's got a big uh, live oak tree, and he's got these little girls in a circle around the base of the tree. And the title is Live Oaks from Tiny Acorns Grow. <laughs> and that was the way she saw her career as a teacher. Mm -hmm. And so her stories, she always was telling history. Uh, she had meetings behind her story. She wanted her painting to not just be a painting, but to tell a story. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, she, I guess, tried out certain mediums before she landed on the one she really wanted to do. Well, that's true. Uh, mostly it was just trial and error. Uh, she'd had some uh, China painting lessons when she was like 17. Mm -hmm. That's what girls did back then. And we're lucky enough to have about five or six pieces of her china that she painted when she was 17. Mm -hmm. She never did paint anymore until she was 65. And her mother moved in with her who had Alzheimer's. And she said that to keep from going crazy, she got her some paints and thought about, well, I'll start painting a little bit just as a hobby. Well, it turned out she was pretty good at it. Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, she painted and had about 45 paintings that she'd painted and I've always been an antique collector and so I used to go from Memphis to the antique flea market in Nashville and all the people from up north would bring antiques down to sell them there. Mm -hmm. So I said, Mom, I'm going to rent you a booth. It was in the cattle barn where they had like the cattle sure. when it was fair time. Uh -huh. So I rented her a booth and I went to look for more antiques. And uh, I came back in about an hour, and she was sitting in the booth and didn't have any paintings there. And she said, he bought them all. He bought them all. <laughs> wow. And a Mr. Barr, who had a steakhouse chain in Kentucky, came in there and bought them all, uh, paid her $45 a piece, which was a big price to her at that time. Sure. And she got so nervous, she started to write him a check. <laughs> <laughs> so that's when she became a professional artist. I see. Now, she, she had such a sense of humor. And if you look at her paintings, it's right there. The one I particularly like is the one that has the sheets hanging to dry mm -hmm. outside. Okay. And it's called Three Sheets in a Wind. We're showing that right now. Okay. That was quite a, a... I mean, she just had that humor. Well, she liked to say... She was too prim and proper to have people think she knew what that meant. <laughs> so she put an old man, put the sheets on the line, but then she's had an old man sitting down in the foreground, and he was drinking from his drug, mm -hmm. and she, as she said, he was drunk as Cootie Brown. So <laughs> well, I, that little... I don't know whether people nowadays are familiar with Cootie Brown <laughs> or not. But... Well, that little jug, of course, uh, Moonshine was uh, somewhat popular, mm -hmm. uh, in especially the kill. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah. she really was right on target with everything going in there. And then I'm showing now the red dress. This little girl with a red dress at a funeral. She sticks out more than the more than the hearse for crying out loud. Well, that was cousin Kitty, and she liked standing out. Cousin <laughs> Kitty did. Uh, so uh. she had her best red dress, and she lived in New Orleans. Uh -huh. And uh, she came back to the country to go to that funeral. And everybody was kind of really taken because you weren't supposed to wear a red dress to a country funeral. Mm -hmm. But Cousin Kitty either had forgotten that or she just wanted to stand out anyway. Mm -hmm. My mom was very happy. That used to be called Cousin Kitty from the city. My mom was very happy when she moved down here 
because it became Cousin Kitty from the Crescent, Crescent City. City. <laughs> and that had such a good ring to it. It so. certainly did. I think nowadays it's hats. Yeah. You know, the hat. I mean, everybody yeah. tries to stand out with a better looking hat. Yeah. And, and I think that's, a, for, and especially on Sunday. <laughs> but but uh, Alice did a, a number of things. She Did she take on uh, social issues? She was very political, but... Uh, uh, and was a Democrat. I'll say that. Hope nobody will hold it against her. But <laughs> she was very aware that Republicans, maybe even buy more paintings than Democrats do. Oh, oh. So she was neutral politically, as far as anybody knew. But uh, <laughs> at home, she was a good Democrat. And it was a, there's a variety of her paintings because uh, you know so, some artists just deal in uh, landscapes or uh, caricatures or uh, the sea, uh, but she was all over the place. She called those boring paintings. Ah, okay. okay. And she didn't paint the sea. Mm -hmm. The sea is the sea. Mm -hmm. She wanted a story that went with it. And so she would have something that would make a story out of her sea painting. Uh -huh. Okay. So if she was going to paint the sea, there's going to be more there she than just the say, water. She didn't paint it if she didn't have a title. Mm -hmm. and, and is that how that she... the title was humorous. Right. Is that how she started? Did she look for a title first and then paint? Look for a title first and then paint it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And people ask me, well, what did that building... She made it up as she went along. Uh -huh. She just got a canvas. She would put some a real thin mix of paint and water, and she'd do the blue for the top and green for the bottom, and then she'd just sit down and start painting. painting. Mm -hmm. And well, I don't think she knew what she wanted to paint. It right. just kind of came as it went. Well, they certainly they certainly look a lot better than a red dot or a square blue yeah, something or yeah. other. And you have to sit there and say, well, what, what were they trying to think of? Yeah. Alice's, uh, you know, even if you don't get it right, there's a story there. There's a story there. Mm -hmm, exactly. Now, we have this beautiful museum that is here in the uh, depot here in Bay St. Louis. I bet you love this. I mean, the paintings and everything are all displayed and, and, and it's being taken care of. Well, I was very happy to be able to locate it over here. It was in a house mm -hmm. across the street, and it was awfully crowded, and people really couldn't see a lot of what was there. Mm -hmm. I've been an antique collector all my life, so uh, it's got my antiques in it and then my mom's art, mm -hmm. and everything gets displayed real well, and it all kind of goes together because she liked to say she was a historian, and... A lot of antiques I had were kind of history. Mm -hmm. And I noticed, uh, and, and, and because that this is a historic building, you really can't start banging the walls and putting things up. And they have displayed her paintings on, uh, on uh, I guess you would call them uh, boards of some kind. Well, we built these petitions. Petitions, yes. In here because we couldn't nail anything. There is one nail we use in here, but I'm not going to tell you where it is because okay. it might get me in trouble. But. I understand. Uh, I, I don't want to tell them. We built about. these and made them L's where they would kind of support themselves. Right, right, and and, and they look great. Well, I mean, it looks like it looks like walls in a house that where you would put a painting. Well, we we did it kind of like my mom painted the painting. We did this corner, uh -huh. and we just kind of put stuff in it and moved on down a little bit. So it kind of worked itself out. Tim, thank you so much for talking to us, and I know you invite anyone who comes to Bay St. Louis, Waveland, the Gulf Coast at all, to come over here and take a look at the paintings. And I, I, I see that you also have uh, reproductions uh, uh, that are available. Yes, we sell her prints of prints. her work, mm -hmm. and we have about 50-some-odd originals, mm -hmm. and uh, we're happy for everybody to come. My mom wants to always be free, so there's no admission charge. We will take contributions if people, if people. so wish, but uh, uh, it's, it's free to everyone, and it's open from uh, 10 to 4, uh, five days a week.